Well, hey everybody, it's your good buddy 650E here. Welcome to Season 4 of the New Bike Build Series, if you're not familiar. This is the series where we take this beautiful 2018 Yamaha R1M and with the help of our channel sponsors, Manny from Moto Million, and in today's episode, Louie Moto, we're going to turn this motorcycle into something even more beautiful, faster, and spectacular than it already is. If you're new to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button, and if you're already a subscriber, hit that bell so that you can be notified when I upload new content. I'm just checking out the Louis Moto products we got here. Oh, look at that! Got this awesome. I love that rider seat cover. Number four. That's beautiful. New bike build series right on it. Gorgeous. Same colors as the motorcycle. Mm -hmm. Carbon fiber look to it. Yeah. Has some extra padding. Uh, we got one for the passenger seat too. Yes. Even though you can't really mount it on the motorcycle. <laughs> right. The data logger. Right. Pop that guy on, and then this is that new product you were talking about. They call it a tank leaf. It actually comes packaged kind of cool. I think it looks like a butterfly, like a butterfly yeah. or something in there. But uh, it's nice. It uh, feels like a leather type material. It's grippy. Mm -hmm. um, and then this must go in the center, prevent scratches. So nice. I don't know. It's got instructions up here. Maybe we'll check out the video ourselves real quick. But I think we'll be able to figure it out. Yeah, you're going to be the very first person, Zach, to install this onto a motorcycle. Louis Moto's trusting in you. Oh, okay. Well, we better not screw up. <laughs> Maybe we should look at the video. You never do. Yeah. Uh, I guess we'll start. We can probably warm up this sticker and we'll peel oh, off yes. this sticker. One of the many warning stickers on this fantastic race bike. Now we got a race bike. The yeah. warning sticker's gone. Yes. <laughs> get rid of these stupid reflectors, which we'll do soon. Yo, as soon as we get working on the front brake system, got rid of the back ones, and judging by the comments, it made it super illegal with our license plate. Yes. But Like it or not, that's yeah, how it is. Yeah. So now, let's see, let's do the, uh, let's stick with the tank. We'll do the Louis Moto stuff. Yep. So first thing, whenever you're applying anything to a tank, we're going to warm the tank, we're going to warm the pads, mm -hmm. and we have to clean it with uh, isopropyl alcohol Okay. to get any wax, dirt, grime, that kind of stuff off. Okay. I'm not exactly sure where these are going to go, so we're going to give the whole tank a pretty good cleaning. Nice. Definitely one was going up the center there. And then... I know some of those have got to be for your knee. Looking in the box, they had some great information for installing our leaf tank pads. Uh, so first I went to the louimoto.com slash install, and that took me to their website where I was able to print out PDF instructions. Oh, cool. And with their PDF instructions come these cool little spacer squares. So they're all a half inch so that you can keep your spacing correct. Remember previously we just used masking tape or yeah. kind of use my thumb or something. So this gets you a little bit closer. So we'll give them a shot. We'll cut them out. And then there's also a video that just kind of has general uh, installation instructions in it and tips and stuff along the way. Uh, they said do not heat these because it would mess with the fabric, so we're not going to heat them. Okay. And I guess they also are removable, and you don't want to heat them when you remove them. You just pull them back off oh. and then deal with the leftover adhesive. Nice. And then you can put new 3M tape on the back. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I noticed that the bottom part of our... Um, knee protector actually goes on the plastic piece that's right here. Here's our stock pieces. Yes. So we'd have to either reinstall these stock pieces, but we don't want to do that because we have some awesome carbon fiber ones from yes. Full 6 from Manny at Moto Million, of course. Indeed. So we're going to go ahead and install those. Uh, you need your stock ones because we have to pop this little collar out here so that our bolt has somewhat to tighten. But you can see if we put this collar in here, it's always going to fall out. So every time you'd pull these off the bike, it'd be falling off. So what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of clear silicone and put it on this collar and then kind of glue it in place. Just a little bit on the edge. Stick it on there, put it off to the side, let it dry for a second. And same thing on the other side. You can never have too much carbon fiber. No. Started in there. Let me grab a ratchet. All right. 
it looks good. Up. And that's where our lower piece here is going to go. So we are covering up the carbon fiber a little bit, but something nice for your knee to grip on. Yeah, indeed. All right. Looks good. Looks much better than that plastic stuff. Yeah. Arts and craft class. Arts and craft time. Bust out the scissors and tape. Yeah. Don't eat the glue. No. 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 <laughs> no. Okay, so now that arts and crafts time's over, yes. you got all the uh, little half inch squares cut out, and they show in the instructions they want you to start at this edge, and then it, it is pretty nice. It's going to keep us spaced. It's kind of what we did before on the S1000, except we just used tape. Yeah. They say you could even use tape, and this is just going to help me when I pull this sticker to align it. And then this piece below is just going to match this edge, and then we got our nice half inch guide, and you can see we're going to go on nice and straight. That's awesome. So man. let's go ahead and uh, stick this first piece on. Okay. Uh, we cleaned it. It's dry. We're just going to peel off the adhesive backing. I think it speaks volumes, Zach, that uh, Louis Moto trusted in you to be the very first person to install this onto a motorcycle. I think that's really cool. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm glad that they like our quality of work. Indeed. So, all right. We got our backing off. This VHB tape, this 3D stuff. Is some of the it's some of the most sticky tape out there. Once yeah. supposedly, if you let it dry and you've prepped the surface properly and you don't touch it, in 24 hours it is as good as welding. Wow. So that's a bold statement. It is. I read that, I think, on their website. <laughs> yeah. I read it somewhere. And that's formed real nicely right to the tank. I wasn't sure. Yeah. It felt like it was going to be a little stiff and maybe not want to form correctly, but it's on there. Yeah. Just kind of apply pressure everywhere. The tape goes all the way out to the edges, so you want to push all the way around. And per your golden rule, when you do these things, you like for uh, to let the bike sit for at least 24 hours before you ride it. Yeah, and uh, if you're in one of these awesome northern states where it's snowing like it is here, yeah. you probably want to wait till springtime, or unless you have a temperature controlled area, you're okay. going to want it to be at least 60 degrees. Adhesives just work better yes. when it's at least 60 degrees. So I don't hear anything popping or pushing. We're going to go ahead and leave that. And then let's uh, peel this piece. I want to be careful just to get the backing and not start peeling the tape. Okay, and we're going to start with our straight edge right here and then go off our half inch marks like so. And we're on our new full six carbon fiber piece. Nice. They do have a little bit of an edge to them and it is 3D, but I kind of like that. I do too. What do you think? I love it, man. I love it. You've been looking at all the exotic cars. How's it? Uh, how's it hold up here, uh, design-wise? Fit and finish, top notch. All right. Yeah. And then uh, we'll just peel our squares and do the same thing on the other side. Let's get these suckers out of here and see what, what it looks like. We're here behind the scenes of the new bike build series. Yes. Installing a uh, channel sponsor, Louis Moto. Their tank leaf. Uh, tank pad protection system comes with these awesome little half inch square cutouts to help you align everything look how easy that was wow easy indeed and the then top one's on now he'll install the below. bottom one on our full six carbon fiber rear tank cover also from channel sponsor moto million so this one we just line up our front edge Use our half inch spacers as a guideline and stick it on. Looks fantastic. Tank leaves from Louis Moto. Awesome. How's that look? Pretty centered up? I'd say so. We do yes. have this bend in here, so hopefully it forms to that nicely. Just lightly put it on, use the center line of the gas cap and our created center down here. Good? Yep. We're going for the final stick. 
that one on real nice. Wow. So on the one to ten ease of installation, what do you give it? I'd say that's about a nine. Nice. So once again, those turned out awesome, Zach. Thank you so much for being the very first person to install these for Louis Moto. Yeah, not a major modification. Something mm -hmm. nice, you can definitely do it easily in your garage and protect your gas tank and give you something to grip and hang on to all uh, all the power we're gonna make mm -hmm. on this guy, right? And add some style to the and motorcycle. Those things are great. Style, yeah, and we put our awesome full six carbon fiber knee pieces on here too, Yep, which are gonna match great with uh, our carbon fiber air box cover, which yes. we haven't decided if we're painting yet or not. Yeah, to be determined. To be determined. So, uh, yeah. Next video, you'll install the seat covers? Yeah, we'll get the seat covers on. Probably just do the rider seat, do the passenger seat off. I don't know, we'll see how time goes. Okay. We've, uh, we've seen that a couple times, but it's going to look great. Uh, if it's anything, it looks about the same as your R1 seat, except we got the uh, new Blake Build Series logo on there. Ooh, it looks so great. So, it's going to look great installed on the motorcycle. It really draws it all together. Uh, can't wait to see it. All right. So uh, thanks for watching, and we'll catch everyone in the next video. Thanks, Zach. Hey, good one. You too, buddy. So that was it. These beautiful tank leaf products from our good friends at Louis Moto successfully and professionally installed onto your beautiful 2018 Yamaha R1M. Someone's going to be very happy and not grumpy when they win this bike. Don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. And if you are a subscriber, hit that bell so that you can be notified when I upload new content. Stay tuned for more new bike build series videos. Thank you guys so much for viewing. We'll catch you next time on the new bike build series. Let's take a moment to admire this beautiful bike and make it form. Looks great.